Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be building a Candy Crush clone in just under 5 minutes. This will be a fully deployed application live on the web. I'll leave a link in the description below so that you can actually test it out for yourself. Follow along if you can. The timer starts now. So the first thing you want to do is go to gokoji.com slash templates because we're going to be using a template from their template store. Click on gem match and then use template. We're going to name our template space match because I'm going to use a space theme and we're going to create the project and this takes a few seconds but basically what it's doing is it's taking care of all of the setup for you. It is getting all of your project files, starting the development environment, creating a dev server with hot reload and a bunch of other fun stuff that we no longer have to worry about which is great. All right, now that the editor is loaded, you'll notice that a preview of the game is loading on the right hand side. The terminal is here at the bottom. We're just gonna close that out. And on the left hand side, you can see our directory structure and above that some configuration controls. And this is what we're gonna be diving into. So these are visual configuration controls or VCCs as they're known in Koji. We're gonna go into game settings and change this to space game. Space match, excuse me, you can see that it updated on the right hand side. We'll leave the start button as is. For the font family, I found a nice font in Google Fonts called Poppin, so I'll copy that and I will paste that in here. It looks like there's a little space in there, so we'll just delete that. Let's change our background image really quick. So I'm just gonna click in here. You can upload your own file, but I actually found a file hosted on Imager, so we're just gonna copy that URL and paste it in here and then rehost that image on Koji. There we go, so let's start the game. Uh, looks like there's some sounds. I'm just gonna turn that off. You'll notice that there are five columns and about eight rows, and you can see we have width five, height eight, so I'm actually gonna increase that. We'll change the width to eight, change the height to 10. Maybe we'll have 25 moves, maybe we'll make the score 100, and the animation length will shorten just a little bit to 300 milliseconds. So now let's make sure, we'll click on start. Yeah, it looks like all the changes have been made, great. Now let's move on to the pieces. So for the pieces, we're just gonna do the same thing we did with the background. We'll click on here, import from URL, and I found a bunch of nice little icons that are hosted on imagers. So there we go, there's one, there's two, Here's three, here's four, there's five, and this one only had five, but we're gonna add a sixth one in here as well. There we go, there's six. Great, so let's go ahead and just test it one more time. I'm actually gonna test it in the full screen mode by clicking on this uh, new tab window. Here we go, it's staging. Looks like it loaded properly, sound is still off, perfect. And looks like all of our icons are in there and everything is working normally. So these are moving a little faster as well. Perfect, now let's go ahead and deploy this thing. So we're gonna click on deploy project here. It says candy by default, we're gonna call this space match, maybe space matcher or something like that. And all we gotta do now is click on deploy now and it's going to deploy our project for us. So when we click on that button, few things are happening. It's taking care of all of the DevOps that nobody wants to do. It is compiling the container. It is setting up the EC2 instance on AWS and a bunch of other stuff that we no longer have to worry about because Koji takes care of that for us. All right, and that nice sound means that it is fully functioning and deployed to the web. We can click on this link, make sure everything's working. So this is a live link on the web that you, anyone can access. We click start, there we go. We have some sound that I just turned off and everything seems to be working normally. All right, great. Now we have a fully functioning application deployed live to the web. Feel free to click the link in the description below to check it out. Don't forget to subscribe for more updates to Koji and thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.